Hagrid. There is a great development that Hagrid has been taken on as staff. He is Professor Hagrid. Hagrid? Exactly what is that? That run is a hippogriff. A hippogriff is an animal which, uh, it's basically looks like a cross between a horse and, um, a bird. And it's Hagrid's job to introduce it to the children. And the hippogriff itself is a wonderful creature. It's absolutely astonishing. I think he's late like you write him now. What? I think the most important creature in the film, from a from an emotional perspective, was the hippogriff. He's got to be this quirky, almost goofy character that's a little bit wild and a little bit rough-edged, and that was something that Alfonso wanted to get over. That was quite an interesting process. We have to start from conceptual artist's work. Then we went into CG modeling, and they basically literally go in and they build in the, the computer from the skeleton out uh, this creature. It's very difficult doing a creature with feathers and a creature that has so much interaction with the real world. And then the other hard part was just getting everyone to interact with that creature properly in that environment. We have three different hippogriffs. You'd see a CG hippogriff whenever it's flying and walking around, doing things that are beyond what we can physically make it do. We have a specific lying down hippogriff that was built for the pumpkin patch. And we have a background hippogriff that does a simpler set of movements but is freestanding and basically we use a mixture of those items depending on what's required. It's incredibly labour intensive, incredibly specialised work to make it move correctly. It is a creature filled with electronics, so we had 12 operators all trying to coordinate their movements. In the digital world, we have to wait many months, so it's great for Alfonso to see that character, for the actors to see what they're playing against. Can he go into, into, his, in, into his wing or something like that? There you go. I personally feel that children especially react very well to things that they're confronted with, that they can touch, they can interact with. I'm a great advocate, especially on a movie where you have a lot of child actors, of putting something in front of them that they can perform with, that performs with them. Buckbeak's completely unique and really fantastic. Looking at it, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Buckbeak's a very important creature in the film. Um, even more important are the Dementors. 